Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try Oat Stout from Bare Hands Brewery. Brewery. Uh, if I could talk. Uh, so when I put this on untapped, it didn't come up. I put in Oat Stout Bear and they all came up and it sounds like they made maybe different versions of this. So I did see some scores, which I'm kind of disappointed. Um, I will say off the bat, the one friend that had it gave it a 3.25. Uh, usually I scan it, I tap it, and I put it away so I don't see that. But I did see that. 6% ABV. So I don't know if they make this every year. I don't. We used to go down there all the time. I did another Bare Hands review today. Uh, I, I wouldn't say all the time, often. And um, we would drink there with my cousins. We'd go there, pick stuff up. And I never remember an oat stout. So I don't know if this is just over the past couple of years uh, that they've been doing it. Uh, but there's no can on date. Uh, my wife picked this up in Granger at the pub brewery. Um, this week. So let's go ahead and get this open, get it into a glass. I didn't read anything about it. I just saw the scores because I was like, why are they, why do they have multiple other ones? There we go. I'll stop there. So this is a bare hands glass, Ninja Turtles. I don't know if they still sell these, but I got a four pack with all the colored uh, hop turtles uh on it um yeah six percent does that say yeah okay six percent that's why i'm using this uh good head uh light chocolate uh colored head small and medium bubbles about a finger of head color i would say in this glass going by this glass yes it's black dark dark brown very dark brown uh, it looks more brown, but for a stout, you guys are seeing black. Um, if I hold it up here, it does look more brown than if I hold it down here. But that's just light source. I'll say very dark brown. Uh, let's go ahead and smell. Roasted malt, light coffee, uh, light chocolate. Uh, I almost want to say like a nuttiness, a light nuttiness, but I think that roasted coffee chocolate stick out the most. It's almost like they used a very high SRM um, grain, a 500, but you're probably going to use that in a stout. Um, a little acidic, maybe burnt in there. It almost smells like there's some sweetness, like vanilla sweetness from lactose. Yeah, I think that roasted malt, almost burnt charcoal comes out the most. Then you get that light coffee, uh, light chocolate in there with that sweetness. Uh, smells good. Let's go ahead and taste. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see what people think about this. Uh, it's almost like... I want to say... A basic stout, like heavier stout. I, I'm having a hard time. What are the oats doing in this? Maybe adding to the mouthfeel. I mean, common sense. Uh... Maybe a slight slickness uh, on this that I can remember versus any stout that I've made or had. Maybe the oats, it, it, it's, it almost seems to me an oat stout should be a little bit more creamy, 
uh, a little bit more slick. It's almost like uh, they didn't add enough oats into this. More, I almost want to say old school. Old school stout. Uh, big roasted, acidic, dark, almost a little bit to that dark cherry, dark fig, dark plum stage. But it's all coming from grain. So burnt, overburnt. But that the, those grains are going to give off chocolate coffee. Uh, so I, I, I think that's where that chocolate coffee is coming from. Is it bad? No. Is it good? If I was there right now, would I drink this over something else? There's no way. Um, I could technically see why whoever my friend uh, scored it, gave it so low of a score. It seems like old-fashioned. It's almost like this should be call, called old-fashioned oat stout. Uh, I could see back when brewing first started home brewing I should say and somebody wanted to make a stout this is what it would turn out like uh, I, I I think the high SRM unless that that's what they were going for uh, for me I'd go 3.5 it's drinkable is it Good enough to drink more than one? No. Uh, not at all, in my opinion. Uh, but, yeah. I could see old-fashioned oat stout. Old-school oat stout or something like that. Because I think what they had for home brewers back maybe in the 90s, uh, this is what you would produce. Um, I could definitely see that. But that's just me. You might like this. Uh, I like big, bold, dark coffee. Um, and this is a little different. So let's check on tap. One of my friends, again, has checked it in 3.25. A uh, little over 1,000 people. 3.71. So they're coming up. Our take on... Uh, okay, that makes total sense. Classic oatmeal stout. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I did not read that before. I Yeah. It definitely fits the bill of an old school homebrew in the 90s. This is what you would make. This is what you would have access to. So, yeah. Coffee, chocolate malt flavors with silky oak, UK hops, and a classic English ale yeast. Yeah. I I fully understand, and if we were going by, I guess, that, it would be a 5 out of 5. I would definitely give them a 5 out of 5. But in today's world, making this, I don't see the point. I think with all the other stuff they've made, and I'm thinking, I'm trying to think, there's, I want to say Mom... I would have to go back and look since it's been years since I've had it. Uh, but the other stouts that they make, I almost want to say new age. This isn't what most people drinking craft beer nowadays would want, in my opinion. But that's just me. So, oatmeal, coffee, smooth, dark chocolate. I would agree with everyone except for the oatmeal. Um, I would also add acidic or something like that into it for the higher SRM malts. You're going to get it. Uh, let's just see. Um, 
2016. So what are... Uh, I don't know what all the other untaps are. Yeah. 2016 and 2015. Weird. I don't know. This is the one I'm checking in is the Oat Stout with the exact uh, label as this. So if you're into videos like this, definitely check some more out over here. And until next time, cheers.